Hey guys, the objectives of this video are to introduce the parallel access theorem and to find ix for a composite section. So we'll start off by looking at the parallel axis theorem. So what I've got here is I've just, I've just written down this um, definition, the moment of inertia formulas that we've seen in the previous video, they're only true if the centroid of the shape that we're working out the moment of inertia for uh, is at the centroid of the cross section. So our standard moment of inertia formulas have been based on quite simple shapes like rectangles and circles. And for those shapes, the centroid is at um, the centroid of the shape is at the centroid of the actual entire cross section. Um, if we have composite sections like our I beam that we looked at um, in one of our centroid videos or a T beam or an L beam, then the centroid of the shape is not going to be um, the same as the centroid of the individual um, shapes that make up the composite section. So we have the thing, we have a thing called the parallel axis theorem, which is our way of relating um, the centroid of the individual shapes to the centroid of the total shape. And we, we use um, certain relationships to uh, work out the moment of inertia. So I'll just introduce the parallel axis theorem. So we have this formula here. We have Ix, which is our moment of inertia, or our second moment of area. And then we have Ix dash plus Ay squared. Um, I'll just introduce this. So Ix dash is the moment of inertia for the individual shape. So when we're breaking down a composite section into its individual shapes, Ix is the moment of inertia for one of the shapes. Um, A is the area of that shape, so the area of the shape, um, and Y is the distance between